Hello, good afternoon. My name is Mohammed. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you basic requirements of becoming a sightseeing guide a licensed person. Uh, this basically requirement is just going to be the study guide, what you need to study in order to pass a test, what materials you need to purchase, what how many questions they're going to ask you. So I'm just going to go over that in this video. I'm going to have another video that's going to show you exactly what license what actually uh, forms you need to fill out what license you really need into this so i'm going to help you guys out with that in another video this video is just going to be basic like a study material what to study what type of question so let's get started so um so those people that don't know what a sightseeing guide guide is it's basically those people that actually uh, show around people in manhattan like you'll see sometimes in the top of a tour bus that talk about new york city history sometimes you see them with a group of people uh, going around in the neighborhood in manhattan and uh, showing them around about the history the in, in landmarks uh like you know like stuff like that so basically that's uh that's a sightseeing guide license uh, if you do not have that, you cannot actually even talk to people about it, to even explain to about the history if you're charging people money, obviously. You need the license in order to do that. Uh, the test is uh, it's not that difficult, honestly. You need 150 questions. There will be 150 questions in the test. Some are going to be true and false. Some are going to be multiple choice questions. Um, the test is going to be predominantly on general knowledge in New York City history, uh, mostly Manhattan, because Manhattan is the part of where most people do go and they ask you questions around there. Uh, you'll uh, you will, you'll get questions about the all five boroughs. Uh, you need to score a 97 percent or more, like it says over here, to pass the exam. And if you get 120 or more, you'll basically you'll basically be like on the, on a DS, DCA a website, like basically like a Hall of Fame. So that's what it is. The area covered by the questions are basically getting there, uh, basic traveling information. They might ask you how do you come to this destination, to this destination. They might ask you a question during the test. Uh, you could study the maps from the MTA, but the buses, the trains, and the five boroughs shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, going getting to know about the which ferry goes where, like how do you go to the Staten Island Ferry or the ferry going to Statue of Liberty, like those type of questions, like general knowledge you're supposed to know. Uh, New York general New York City knowledge about the history about New York City, about the Museum of Natural Natural History, history about the Statue of Liberty when it was built, history about um, the Diamond District on Thirty Fourth Street. You know, like what, like stuff like that. Uh, you need to know. You could buy books, obviously, to help you study. One of the required books, not required, but like give you a book called Blue Guide New York and New York Guide to Metropolis. These are the two books that give you a detailed uh, history about New York City. That's good to do if you're studying. Um, obviously, the two te you, you need to know all that. You need to know the New York City neighborhoods, mostly Manhattan. Again, because the question might mostly kind of come in Manhattan. You need to know about that part. Uh, you, you need to know about the major New York City landmarks. Again, the books that you, I just told you about, they should be able to help you out. You need to know about ethnic studies and immigration pattern past and present you need to know what the statue of liberty was used for what was it represented to immigrants you know like you need to have general knowledge of everything when you're talking about history but new york city museum arts and culture like if they if you if you're passing by um you know on fifth avenue and you see on the right side you see museum of natural history you should be able to tell people what the what the museum is for what it is what's inside you need to know some basic knowledge of that or have some type of tourist oriented uh, questions you know like they do ask you how to answer that part um uh obviously you need to know about the music theaters and dance uh, you know basic knowledge is sort of for visitor or orientation purposes they do if you do go and you're supposed to tell them okay this is the excellent place to visit for for you know for music uh, music like for example you've seen like the lion king theaters stuff like that so you know you, you know if you have knowledge you can tell people around new york city literature a few questions will be included about that uh, about the author i mean a chance of you know like questions are going to be about it um you'll be limited to the following like to give you example eb white lancer he was these are the, some of the uh, literature authors they might ask you questions about religion they may say you might know that new york city you know what's the predominant religion well, how many religion groups are over here then the question like that architecturing about and basic new york city planning some people even talk about architecture like for example the road work sometimes they're bricks you know like they're not really cemented they ask you what is that for reason sometimes these some of these roads are the historical landmark and actually for architecture purposes they leave it as is. like you have to have some type of knowledge um uh, parks and parkways plus green river land cemetery you need to know about the cemeteries uh you know about major parks because there's a lot of parks over there for example like you know like if you if they ask you about marine park what it is uh like certain parks you need to know like you know like it's a lot of a lot of information you need to know about it 
but these books like I said before they should able to help you out ethnic food product the basic identity for popular food what food products are mostly in tourists might be interested in what question they might be asking about that uh, you know that's personal experience you know obviously if you've been in Manhattan before so you know obviously which one food is which is more famous because so you know about that public sculpture of noted people there's some public sculptures in Manhattan obviously if you, if you go around you see public sculptures so they do ask you for example if in downtown Brooklyn uh, uh, there's it's like s certain generals are, are close to where like people figure with the, with the statues holding the flag if they tr you, 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 be able, you have to have some type of knowledge to explain to people what that is a few residents in order people celebrity walk so fame in the city celebrities you need to know you know this is a celebrity of this person this what well, you know like this is like you know you're supposed to know a, a lot this is not gonna be it shouldn't be a difficult test but it's not also easy so don't take it lightly practical legal routing and passing to pick up drop off for tour bus midtown through street obviously you know you're supposed to know about that not only that but the, also the laws and regulation about the buses as well you know professional new york city side must have an extensive base of knowledge even for well-versed new yorkers accusatory reading of the signature text is highly recommended please pay special attention to the new york city De department of transportation bus regulation all sightseeing guides are legally obligated to strictly adhere to these rules when, when directing bus drivers so you're supposed to be ba you're basically like the like the, the the person in charge of the tour bus so and obviously you know you might you could change also routes to the bus driver but most bus drivers know what they're supposed to do where they're going so you could just tell them out you basically know a little bit about the you know about the new york city department of traffic laws as well because you know they might ask you questions about it um these are some of the organizations you can also click on it you will have on your own time um obviously you know this is something that you know if you you they do give you t if you give you the exam you fail it twice like it says over here you must you have to pay the exam fee again uh, i'll tell you in another video how much exam fee is going to cost and everything so basically this video was a purpose of showing you the reference material what you need to do study uh, just do your own research as well go on google do your own research or at least you have some type of thing so that's about it thank you for watching my video if you like it please comment subscribe i hope you guys i hope you guys uh, like the video thank you again